Oh, now I can retweet. Oops. Speaking of self-driving things. Why are you going all that way? You can't go down the ramp with a bomb? I Probably not. What do you guys think about the idea of Amazon delivering throw it, throw it. packages oh. by drones? I think they're all going to get shot down. People are going to be like, look, I wonder what's in there. And they're going to shoot them down in the sky and steal your packages. Oh, my oh. gosh. I hadn't even thought of that. I mean, there's things like floating around. Like, it's exactly the same. They're going to get like stolen. I feel like YouTube it's going to... YouTube or UPS. <laughs> like, no one robs the UPS guy. No, day. but I'm sorry. Well, think about it. Okay, you're going to, like, in the middle of New York City, and, like, there's all these drones flying around to deliver packages. Don't tell me people aren't going to be like, bing, well, bang. I don't think they That's can fine. do it in New York City. I mean, because well, they can't exactly yeah. fly a drone into a well, six-floor walk-up apartment six. I well, I seat. agree. I agree. That's why I'm questioning how it'll work. But right. like in you know suburbia, they could drop it on your back porch. They'll get stolen. Not gonna, you think that they'll get shot down literally before they actually get a chance to deliver them? Oh yeah. Most likely. I'm hey y'all, look at that. Seriously, especially. But the first, they're gonna have to roll three dice and get a four or above. <laughs> Who knows? Balthazar says, I love drone delivery. Amazon, please bring me my toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can legally shoot them down. Well, no, of course you can't. It's not a matter of legally. It's not. It's just, you know. <laughs> okay, so that means if they're going to shoot down drones, you know that some of these bullets are going to go the wrong way and shoot people. I mean, people... So that's going to be the headline ten years yeah. from now. So-and-so was accidentally shot when they were trying to shoot down an Amazon drone yeah. who was trying to bring toilet paper to... <laughs> <laughs> I feel, yeah, $20 worth of soap. I feel like right now, you know, if someone wanted to steal something off my uh -huh. front porch, they could follow, like, a UPS truck or a FedEx you truck and wait for it to be delivered on my porch and steal it. Like, it's like... harder to trace those yeah, than yeah. look up in the sky. Oh, look, it's a drone. You know, I feel like it'll just be more visible <laughs> and less... I've had stuff stolen off my porch. Yeah, see, that are, uh, that stinks. What's your threshold? Uh, chats, what is your threshold if you're having UPS or FedEx leave a package for you? Value threshold above which you don't want it left on your porch. Now, I know certain packages, the, the like, if you buy anything from Apple that's, you know, more than $5, they require a signature. Are you cold? But um, you can either, if they don't require a signature, or sometimes you can sign a form and leave it on your door for the delivery driver to pick up to authorize them to leave the expensive package on your door. And, you know, years ago it used to be a reasonable guess was the larger the package, the more it was worth. But nowadays when you can buy, you know, a thousand dollar iPad that will fit in a box that's teeny tiny, you can't go by the size of the package, meaning value. Anyway, what's your threshold above which you don't want a package left unattended at your door? About twenty bucks. Uh, probably, probably about what's about a. a I've had packages over one or two hundred dollars that were left, and I wasn't given the option to require a signature. Mm. Bradley girl says a hundred bucks, and it's kind of what I was thinking too. I think someone just called you OSG. I'm definitely not OSG. Oh, because they thought if someone earlier said something about. I'm wearing my Target shirt. I'm Target John. It looks a little orange. If you look at the, see, look at the camera. It looks a little orange. It does look a little oh. orange. And so they weren't quite there's sure. There's a there's a Target here. I'm Target John. Weird. I don't look or sound anything like OSG. Although, is this one the script calls for doing my bad fake? British Indian Not fortune yet. teller accent. Oh, that's, you're, you're jumping okay. down there. If you look at Twitter, I that's agree with Jacob. 70. My threshold zero because we don't on? want anything stolen. I agree. None yeah, of but it's like a risk, right? It's. I you're guess. not even taking the risk. The delivery company is probably yeah, taking see, the risk, and it's yeah. not. It's not yeah. their. It's not in their best interest to just might be. wait around for you to what get everything. Get? So Jacob says his threshold is zero dollars. He doesn't want anything stolen. Or, yeah, I like Digital it Atlas said he had a $500 Xbox sitting on his doorstep while he slept for four hours. Four hours is, well, you know, any time is... Of course, a lot of it depends on where you live. <laughs> what's your neighborhood like? Can you trust your neighbors? How many... <laughs> Thanks, Vader Nader. Yeah, so I'm laughing yeah. at it. Good sarcasm quote. What did he say? 
It depends on where you live, how many people, how busy your street is, if there's pe- a lot of people driving on your street that don't live in the neighborhood. See, I have in an apartment, so if I'm not there to sign for it, they just leave it in the apartment office. But well, they leave it in the so, office. So, so the nice, office people sign your, for it. So you yeah, have yeah so someone signs for it. You're there and sign when I pick it up. At you least have, you have people to sign for it for you. I do. Take it delivered to work. So then it has to go to the mailroom and someone has to sign it. You know, I used to do that a couple buildings ago, but then they put out something in the building that <laughs> they didn't want the their mail guy busy with. Somebody must have got items. upset that, that they were shipping too much personal stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was probably where one person was abusing his time by sending personal packages to work. And so because one person in a building where 2,000 people work mm-hmm. abused the system, the rest of us lost the privilege, and they put out a ruling, no more personal packages sent to the office because mm-hmm. they felt it was taking too much of well, the mail So they'd rather time. have that person take time off to go home and sign for a package? That doesn't... Well, um, probably in the case me. of the person abusing the system, yes. Well, yeah. But if it was like one person, but in general, like so that's I, your choice. I mean, I don't get packages that often, but I used to do what Emily said. I have them sent to work because yeah. I figured, you know, one package every few months or whatever it was There's wasn't a, a big burden. Mail receiving system at your work. I would always right. do that for Christmas, though, and I wonder. I bet there's a huge spike at Christmas because I would do it so then my husband didn't get home before me just for the package. Oh, Sometimes just idea. the label of where it was from could be a giveaway of what it is. So I'd have them sent, and I bet that different mailers. I bet they see a huge influx of that kind of yeah, I've had delivery step, around step Christmas. Sent to my mom's or Steph's mom. Yeah. Just so that she wouldn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well. Great topic. What's another hot topic here? Drones, hot topic. I feel like we're on the cars. view. Like, what's the hot topic? Except I'm the only woman. It's illegal for yeah. them to leave alcohol. I've seen the view. I like that. Show. Okay, yeah. I think we should talk about manufactured food. Oh, oh no. no! Let's not get into that. No, that gets a little political. No, no, no. I like yeah. being <laughs> not, not GMO stuff. Okay. We're talking about soy-based products like Soylent that are meant to be a food replacement. I don't know enough about that to really speak. Hey, does Mike Buckley work at Purdue? Scott says, I had a FedEx guy walk to my door, drop the package, and walk away. The order's worth more than 100 bucks. Couldn't he have knocked? That happens to me a lot. Sometimes yeah. if I've been home during the day, I hear, I think my, my screen door closed, and I go and look, and then they're driving away, and they didn't even ring the you doorbell. You think they would knock. do a courtesy doorbell? So at least the doorbell. Even if they don't they have do to that, wait that's for That's what it. mine do. If I'm home, they'll... They'll drop the package, ring the doorbell, and then run back and to leave. the truck and leave. But at least you get the doorbell. But at least, at least you get I the get doorbell. Yeah. That's weird. Toad and Yoshi in chat says he had an iPod set outside his apartment door for hours. Uh, um, so they didn't make, require him to sign for that. Then they sent the USB cable separately, and he had to sign for that. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That yeah, seems that's... odd. Yeah. Uh, so what I do is I Somebody get... Um, up. Did you order the iPod direct from Apple, or was it from a third-party source? Because it seems to me if Apple had sent it directly, they would have required a signature. App- I order a lot of stuff from Apple. <laughs> I'm totally an Apple geek. Um, and it seems like even the little things, like you know a $20 yeah. cable um, or like a $29 iPad cover, they want a signature for. Mm-hmm. But if you order an, uh, an iPod what from some other cable? source, non-Apple, but some other source that carries it, they might... Not require a signature. <laughs> so there, you can talk about that, John. Uh, uh, how do you think uh, Cooks, Tim Cook's been doing? Oh, I have no complaints. I mean, the a lot of people had fears after, <sighs> but you know, the loss because uh, look, their stock price has still been going nuts. They just did a seven to one split, and they think it's going to keep raising. They're still making money hand over fist. They're selling Max are going up by double percentages. Uh, while PCs are going down in percentages in terms of uh, growth quarter to quarter. Obviously, the iPhone and iPad are tops in their class by profits. Um, some of the pundits are like, but they haven't come out with the next big thing yet. That's an epic fail. And uh, they will. It's like patience. The company is not exactly doing it badly. I'm a fan. And I think there's plenty of data that I'm not just being a fan for fan's sake. I think there's plenty of data which backs up that he's guiding the company well. And it's true they haven't come out with the next big thing yet, but they will. 
I mean, they're supposed to be maybe coming out with the iWatch this fall, which some estimates are like they're going to sell tens of millions of them in the first couple months. Colin points up to the UPS, my choice. You can get an SMS when they drop your package. Well, I was about to say that, like quantum delivery notifications I receive from UPS. And so, I mean, it does good if I know I'm getting something and I, it, it like, to the, to, as soon as they scan that it was delivered, I get an email or a text. Hey. But if it's important and I'm like, oh, shoot, I need to go home for it, I can't always just break away so and go and pick it up. Cons but consider the drones we were talking about earlier. There's no reason that a drone has to deliver it to your house. It can always deliver your new iPhone to exactly where you're at at that given time. Oh, right? by if you um, give it permission to know where you are. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, so you sign into the Amazon app on your iPhone, and it'll say, do you want to there. tell me where your location is? Because your package might arrive next hour. So you say, yes, you can know my location. And now the drone comes and finds me in the basement at MMHQ. F future mafia movie Daddy! scene. It's like the yes, drone is hit, coming, oh, bringing the next toy to the <laughs> target, and it's like, oh no, it's 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 a bomb. Mega Man asks if we think Google Glasses will become a big thing. I don't think that the current Google Glass product is going to go anywhere. I think it's Evan Bookbinder must be new here. It's, it's great too charity, but uh, some really obtrusive. Bad Mario playing. It's too large on your face, and everybody knows what it is, and they're wigged out by the fact that there may be a camera staring at them. So I don't know if, if wearable, internet-connected glasses with cameras are going to become uh, are going to become big. Hey, Kendra, Annie, come here. On the other hand, sooner or later, somebody's going to come up with. A wearable product that has a camera embedded in it um, that is less obtrusive than Google Glass. And so they might become a big thing and be, and be slowly accepted just because people won't realize that they're there for a while. And like being able to do stuff like control your self-driving car by just looking over somewhere and doing something with your eye and be like, hey, I want to get off on that ramp in your car doing it. Or you look at a street, you look at like an exit in four miles, the thing pops up a little heads-up display. Do you want to go to A, B, or C and it becomes a multi-select yeah. list? Thank you, Gregory, Simon C, for your donation. So like those two things would combine really well, the self-driving cars and some kind of heads-up display. So I have an idea for enhancements to GPS. I think that they should be smart enough to notice when you've left your route to a specific destination. So like, say you're going to Indianapolis to Chicago, where you get hungry and you pull off towards McDonald's or something like that. When you pull off, and start going somewhere, it should say, at the very least, do you want to pause your route? And that way you could respond. Rather than, you need to turn around. Right. Yeah. And Come it on. could even be smart enough to say, um, oh, there's these restaurants nearby. Here's a 50 cent coupon if you go to this one as opposed to a different one. Um, or it could even say, are you going to McDonald's? And you could say yes. And it would reroute. That way you could... Yeah. That way you're not having to constantly hear changing directions. And things. Ah, I'm going to rage quit this game. We'll skip it. We'll do it later. Uh, Austin Like Your Name says that the guy in the black shirt named AJ... Uh, we don't have an AJ. Me? Well, uh, we have a, a BC, <laughs> Ben, Chris. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm Ben, and it's Chris. I don't know who AJ is. Yeah, that's, that's happening soon. Okay, oh, guys, we could take a break and go finish building my kid's fort in the backyard. Then the kids would have something to play with. Well, they're going to the pool, Brian, so well, we could finish that before they get back. Man, if I die on this level... Do you have a camera like, out and back so everybody can watch? Maybe. We could have, like, a camera so that we can, like, keep tabs on them. <laughs> hmm. Apparently, right. Looks like AJ. Me? 
Yeah. And not an I'm EJ. Assuming, yeah. No. Hey, AJ. Have you ever considered that maybe AJ is a doppelganger for Chris and not the other way around? Who is AJ? I don't know. AJ. So Colin1000 tweeted something I said a few minutes ago about Did you Apple will come out with the iWatch and yeah, so sell tens of millions. Um, and he calls and it, he puts hashtag fanboy, which <laughs> is fine. I am an Apple longtime yeah. fan for 30 years, I admit it. Um, but I, I'm just reminded of the prognosticators when the first iPhone came out who were like, oh, yeah, it's going to flop. And nearly a billion iOS devices later, yeah, that's a flop. Thanks for caring about Mary. Yep, you've got support, Brian. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, so there are two pending Fanarts from Indoor Panda, which look exactly the same to me. Group one. I think maybe one of them is an accidental duplicate. What do you think, Candy? All right. Man, mm -hmm. this it's game is so weird. Looks too scary. Why is yeah. the mouse? The game? Because mm -hmm. the mouse? <laughs> well, the mouse is gone now. Do -do 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 -do. Ralph Funk sunburned himself a lot. He is the sun. Nice. Uh, Bradley Girl says, Trip 42 thinks like a project manager. Fort building, still for the kids. And the Mario Marathon near future with accountability cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so Wizard Link, was it Wizard Link? No, Balthazar. Uh, Talks about, wouldn't mind having a, a smartwatch. Um, I think that Tim Cook, was, <coughs> talk about, did Tim Cook, is Tim Cook doing a good job as the CEO of Apple after Steve Jobs? I think he was right. He said, um, especially the younger generation, don't wear watches anymore. They use their, they use their smartphones to tell the time. Yeah. So I, I think that quite he's... Quite a few people younger than me, though, that have those Samsung watches that talk to But they phone. are starting to buy, like... Um, the like fitness tracking devices, like a Fitbit yes, and stuff. Yes, which is the iWatch is rumored now not to be just right a tie into your yes. iPhone, but it's rumored to do health related things. Yeah, like um, and I think that that's an interesting direction. If they if they come up with a wearable that's not just a watch or not just another interface to the phone in your pocket with a smaller screen, yeah. um, if it does things which nobody else is doing or at least nobody else is doing as thoroughly or as well, then it could succeed. They have to break new ground, or it's just going to be a another the thing that I don't entry like in a category that hasn't found any real success. About the wearable watches, is or the smart watches, like people on them, so they they got these things and they're rigged up with their um with their phone or whatever. So they start getting emails and text messages. And they're constantly staring at their watch, which is, like, historically an indicator that they're busy or they don't have time for whatever you're telling them about. And it's really annoying because it's like, hey, do you got a meeting or something you got to go to? What's going on? Oh, no, just checking my email. Just got a text message. I got to clear. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to use it for that. Thank you, David the Laser, for your donation. It's just supposed Thank to, you, like, David. buzz you and tell you, oh, you need to be down the hall in five minutes. Like, if you want to be sitting there and playing, like, 2048 or whatever, you're, you're going to actually be holding your phone. Or your fabric, whatever. <laughs> Crockbox says, we just need real pit boys who fall on games. Oh, weak. Pit, pit boys? Yeah. Is that like a, not pet boys? No, P-I-P. Pit, P -I -P. Pit? Yeah. Okay. Ed Roach says the thing is the thing is people have an analog to a watch. They understand it and don't fear it. People fear the Google Glass. That's a reasonable comment. I agree with that. Google Glass may be too ahead of its time, um, and it's too pricey. I think for what you get. 
plus the, the privacy like, concerns. Uh, people like Jordy, the Forge, <laughs> they, they want their Google Glass. <laughs> what about Kickstarter? What do you guys think about that? You mean just in general? Yeah. It's a fantastic. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. It's not it's fantastic for Dan May's wallet. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> the uh, zombie side game we played was right? created yeah. on Kickstarter. Too many good things. He was wearing his Veronica Mars shirt. Yeah. Hmm. So Emily, okay. yeah. Uh, real quick before you get back on your shift. So one of the reasons people don't like, are concerned about Google Glass is the privacy issues with a camera that's always you know facing and they don't know whether it's recording anything. I can't remember the name of it, but there's a company that's been working on. Um, a little camera it's a little tiny box to basically wear as a pendant or you can clip it onto a pocket the idea is that it basically records your whole life it, it like can be programmed to take a photo every I can't remember every minute or every half minute or something I don't know if it does video um, it might actually be a Kickstarter thing itself does anybody know the name of what I'm talking about um, it's an interesting idea um, Maybe I can pass the <coughs> Thank you, Vader, here. You're and this little camera, this little square box that you pin on or wear as a necklace that records your whole life, that has a better chance of catching on than Google Glass to me because a lot of people won't know what it is. Early adopters will buy it. It'll start having photos of their whole life. Um, but people may not know what it is to ask about it or be freaked out by the fact that they might be having photos taken of them or video taken of them. Plus, it's not going to cost $1,500 or $1,000, whatever Google Glass costs. I can't remember the name of this little wearable life recording camera thing. Um... We are now $600 decades? away from the next spin the wheel of awesome. This is it, Memento, and it is on Kickstarter. We're staying down here tonight. Memento life logging camera. At my mom's, and we'll go back tomorrow. Like, I, I'm going to try and leave here See, here's like a cool Kickstarter thing. Too early uh, from my shift. Kickstarters, when, when the product That's looks possible. good enough... They can people can blast past their funding goal. Like these people did a Kickstarter a with a fifty thousand dollar goal. They got ten times the amount. They got five hundred and fifty thousand. That's crazy. Not memento. Memoto. We're talking about Kickstarter still. We're gonna go swimming in a little bit. And wearable cameras. The one. Um, I can't. Aldromech, the one that I was talking about is called Memoto. M e m o t o. Dot com. Uh, um, I'm not familiar with the review, but. Do you want to swim? Do you guys uh, want final, lunch, glass. dinner, anytime, relatively soon? Yeah. Three thirty. I don't actually you brought any. Like, skip lunch. I have, I have another half sandwich at like already. seven and seven or so, so. Breakfast. Yeah. I mean. Did you see breakfast. the play for it outside, Annie? The boys. I wondered who time. was well. <laughs> who was coming and who could maybe get us food so we don't have to go out? I have Tuesday. half of a Subway sandwich from yesterday. Annie, Ron, the one that sat out for Subway like eight sandwich. hours yes, Emily. before I put it in the refrigerator? Hey, where are you going? No, so you're going to get sick? One. I wrapped you one up in... Oh, that? you did? Oh, oh that was someone else's. Wrap. There was a plate upstairs and I wrapped that. I didn't. I thought that was yours. I don't know who that was then. Hmm. I think it was Dan. Did Dan really have to? Yeah, I think it was a veggie, right? That was Dan's. The Dan didn't eat half of his either. Okay, well. There's also a big pile of fish we can warm up. Yeah, I don't know if I can, can eat that can again. You, can we I have refried fish? Oh, that <laughs> fish that you bought last night? It was great. I was watching when you were about to order, and I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds good. It was, it was really good. good. There's a lot of it. We can bake it for you. Recrisp it for Would you. Would it be good second I, time around? I don't know. Probably not as good, but. <laughs> Probably, there's a ton of it left. Yeah. I just don't know if I... If, I wouldn't... If anybody else wants to have leftovers, I wouldn't mind trying that. So... But I think it... John, there's so it's much. It's been a while since yeah. we did the spiel. It's, yeah, you definitely... Oh, it's probably been an hour and a half since we did yeah. the spiel. It's no, Brian did it. I did it upstairs. But yes. Or was I... Spiel away. Upstairs. Give the spiel. You're upstairs. Give the spiel. You were up, yeah. Oh. Well, then it has been out. <laughs> no, go ahead. Do it. Doesn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> so... What we're here doing is we're uh, playing main series Mario games to raise money for Child's Play Charity. 
Mm-hmm. So child's play buys, you books, toys, video them. games for kids in children's hospitals and domestic when violence shelters. So you can donate you can at our site, www.marymarathon.com. Um, the donations all go directly to child's play, but if you donate through our site, the more you guys donate, the more levels of Mario games we have to play. So you can see at the top of the stream, there is a count of levels unlocked. So we've unlocked 518 out of 668 levels. And you guys can unlock the rest of those with your donations. Uh, So right now we've got a donor contest going, I think ending in a little under half an hour. But it's good if the donation's slow. The levels we've got set will play. Hey. We don't have to play that Super Mario 3D World game at all. <laughs> so for every $5 donated between oh. noon and 4 p.m. Eastern Time, so about 25 minutes, uh, you'll be entered for a chance to win a Mario Marathon 7 t-shirt. We also have a Twitter contest going. See you, Bradley girl. Which should be, I don't know if that's... The next contest? Tweet a link or... It's a donor... Well, the one after... Yeah, I mean, there's a... Oh, the donor's at four. Yeah. The next one at six would be tweet, I'm sure. Twitter. Yep, and then if you you don't have any money to donate, or you've already donated, the best thing you can do to help us out is to uh, tell your friends about us on social media. Or in person, however, but um, Pick up social the phone. media is really great. Yeah. Hey, yo, Bob. Now. Bob, there's a thing going on. It, it's on the TV. The, t- the TV that's on the internet, the internet TV. <laughs> the one, the so, one with the typewriter hooked on front. You got to, you got to type in, in the, uh, in the address, the www period Mario Http back. First, put your coffee cup down in the cup holder. Right. The motorized one. On dot com, and uh, you're gonna hit enter. It's, it's got the video. I think it's on YouTube. Um, yeah. These guys, they got these guys on there. I don't get it. You, you, you put in the money, and the guys play the games. It's a it's a repeating... It's a, I don't know if it's live. I think, I think this might be from the 80s, donation. because the game looks like the one that, that little Bobby used to play in the 80s. <laughs> um, so if you tweet a link uh, between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. today... Um, to MarioMarathon.com, you will be entered for a chance to win a Mario Marathon t-shirt. Oh, I don't think I like this one. Yeah. So, so do you guys use products donation. like body wash with micro exfoliating beads? No. Good. You know that's bad, right? It's bad? It's bad and like a bunch of states already banning Bad for products. you or bad for the environment? Bad for the environment. Right. Now the beads are getting stuck in sewage systems and stuff. Yeah, and, and like, they're and like then, little plastic. And so, uh-uh. they're very microscopic, but they're showing up in our fish, and so those toxins are being passed along potentially. So we get to use it twice? To us, so that hurts us, eventually. Um, but Illinois, through Lake Michigan and the pollution found there, they're looking to ban it. And I think Procter & Gamble already has said that they will remove it from their products by, I think, 2015 or 16. Why don't they just so, do it immediately? Like, sell I know. the rest of that product. Yeah, so anything. You know? If it says that they have, like, micro beads or oh, something, sure. be careful. I'm just a little PSA for the Mario Marathon team. Uh, help save the Is earth. that the number one concern of the world at this moment? It, it's... Uh, no, obviously. Micro you playing beads. two is the most important thing in the world. We all okay, have to watch this. Okay, now that we've got that, I can tell now you that the number two there. concern are those wipeables that they don't want being flushed anymore. Okay. What? Since when? I thought it was like flush safe, and now they don't. Haven't you heard anywhere. about that? No. Seriously. Um, <laughs> the wipeables, you know, I'm not going to talk in great detail about what I'm talking about. Oh, those aren't supposed to be flushed. They're not. They, they say but that they say on they the package can. they say flushable, but a lot of municipal <coughs> water companies are saying that they're clogging up their pipes because they're not breaking down inside the that. system. Yeah. So you can use them, but you're supposed to put them in the trash, not in the toilet. Ew. So don't use them. Not so <laughs> after the beads, they're the number two problem. Wow. The number two problem? Is that a pun? According I don't to know what a wipeable is. The but it sounds like a number two problem to me. <laughs> it's, a, it's, adult, it's adult versions of baby so wipes. So Aldermack in chat said, 
Target John, that reminds me of the story I heard where a guy had used his laptop CD tray as a bagel holder for years, and his laptop just caught on fire from the crumbs that got pulled uh, inside. Seriously? <laughs> Yikes. Here we go. There's actually websites that tell.